Dickey, thanks so much indeed for your time. Can you remember or think of when this has happened before to a serving royal? No, I can't. I mean, the closest you can probably get to it is um, the abdication of Edward VIII, who afterwards became Duke of Windsor at the end of 1936. But something like this, no, it's not happened before. Yes, we had Harry walking out of the royal family at the beginning of 2020. Uh, he was given the option, either you're a full-time royal or you go off and be financially independent, but you can't do both. And he effectively resigned from his military roles. So having been stripped, no, this is the first time I can recollect anything like that. How difficult do you think a decision it would have been it would have been for the queen? Well, it would have been a difficult decision, but I think it was uh, pushed forward by the fact that Judge Lewis Kaplan in uh, New York decided that there was a case to answer for that Andrew was not immune from any deal that Guthrie had signed with Jeffrey Epstein in 2009, and therefore the case would go ahead and would go ahead sometime from September this year onwards. On that basis, uh, Buckingham Palace felt that the Duke's position was untenable and therefore he had to uh, be stripped of all his military titles and royal uh, patronages. And he is just Andrew, Prince Andrew, Duke of York, but there's no HRH that's been taken away. And how will his life change now that he's lost those titles that he's not His Royal Highness anymore? Well, his, his life won't change much to what it's been over the past couple of years. If you remember after that disastrous Newsnight interview in 2019 with Emily Maitness, um, he was effectively fired from royal duty and he's been twiddling his thumbs for the past couple of years now. So life will not change. I think it'll be a shock that he's no longer a, a royal patron of organisations, that he's no longer... Um, uh, an honorary colonel or whatever of any of the regiments, whether they're Army, Navy or Air Force, either in the UK, Canada or New Zealand. And he'll have a lot of time on his hands to think about what next. Time will be taken up for the time being by the case that's going to be fought uh, come the, the, the autumn, from September onwards. There are going to be depositions, so he's going to be facing a lot of questioning over the coming weeks. Somebody said um, something like seven hours in total. Well, nobody can talk for seven hours and be questioned for seven hours, so that's likely to be uh, conducted over a number of days. So his time's going to be taken up with that. But what else he does? Well, he might go and play a round of golf or something like that, but nothing, nothing substantial. Um, and he's got to have a lot of time on his hands and a lot of time to think about what has happened and what is going to happen. Dickie, thanks very much indeed. Dickie Arbiter speaking to us from London.